Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday and is this is the only day, this is the first day in months that I haven't had plans, like big plans. Like some place we had to go, some place we had to be, none of it. I just turned on the camera and started talking to you guys and Molly came running from upstairs with Gabby. Like that's how much my dogs think that when I start vlogging it's all about them. All about them. <laughs> <laughs> she loves you. Anyway, today I'm starting the day with my favorite shirt. I want to show you guys what it says. I think you guys are all going to agree that this shirt totally suits me. And it says, but first let me overreact. That is me, you guys. That is totally me. Morning, guys. My puppy's crazy now. Yeah, we have crazy puppies. So it is date day for Sam and I, also known as Saturday shopping. When Laura doesn't have something big planned for for a day, and then she compromises and goes shopping. Like that's what I do. I'm I'm a shopping girl. I used to be a shopping girl, but now I'm a horse girl. Now I am a horse girl, you guys. Now I'm a horse girl. Like even finding clothes that look nice on me is hard because I'm a horse girl through and through. And even more so now that I got my amazing horse penny. We are taking the last the last of our giveaway things to send. Uh, there's a couple more things that I have left that I don't know the addresses to. I've searched through email, through, searched through everything. Guys, I can't find, there's I think two, and I can't find it. Oh, a long time ago when we first started our channel, we first started getting into horse stuff, we did a bunch of giveaways, and it was mostly kids, and they never gave me their address and they were just excited that they won, but they could never receive the product because they didn't want their parents to know that they were entering contests online. So I don't know if that's what the problem is. I have no idea, but I still have a couple things left. If you don't receive a product or a, a package from us and you're expecting one, make sure you comment or make sure you contact me and let me know. But I mailed out today, I mailed out the last of them. So Sam went into the first door to get some stuff to fix the bathtub from plugging up and to buy a water cooler, I think he said. And I got another letter. If you guys were watching recently, you will see that I got a letter from a girl named Laura Elsie Grace. She has a YouTube channel on YouTube. And I got this letter from her. Look at the, look at the wax seal. And it has an L on it. I want a wax seal with the letter L on it. That's cool. Let's open it up and see what today's challenge is. You know what's weird? We sign our name almost identical. Like that's exactly how I do it. I do it with a big L like that. I sign it almost exactly. Like that looks just like me. Okay. You guys remember the last message was kind of cryptic. We didn't understand it completely. Looks like Sam found himself a nice water cooler. So it says, Vigorously I jumped out of my bed. The day was October 23rd, four years ago from this day. I quickly dressed myself and soon we were in on a venture to seek out a potential seed of my own. A little smile took its liking on my face. However, I was exhilarated in the thought that my wishes were on the verge of coming true. When my eyes caught a glance of his fiery red locks of hair for the first time, I knew he was the one. But to make sure my speculations were I put my foot into this dangly leather stirrup and slid into the curve of the seat. The horse walked where I commanded and halted at my will. He was indeed the one for me. Without a question in mind, I paid the man and retrieved the horse within a week's time. This was the start of my first adventure. As promised, I will now bestow upon you a clue. But remember, this is confidential information to which I'm entrusting you with. I expect you will not let me down. Here is your first clue. Oh great, I suck. This is the first clue. Looks like a chess piece. I know what you're thinking. That's it? That's the clue? Well, hold your horses, my dear, because from here on out, the clues will only get more and more strenuous. I assume you have the wits and the patience to complete the incoming task. All the best, Laura. P.S. When you have received all nine clues, you will only have one chance to guess what I have in store. If you fail to uncover the information I withhold, I will not be able to reward you. This is a reminder to keep all of your letters for reference if needed. You are allowed to share the letters in your social media platform if you so please. As always, best of luck to you. Okay, you guys. 
you need I need you guys to help me out obviously I'm not gonna get this until I have all nine clues this is the second clue this is the oh this is my first clue this is it she talks about her very first horse so I think I need to go and watch her video and figure this out if you guys want to play along and help me out her channel is Laura Elsie Grace I swear to God I have no idea about any of this I just got the letters in my mailbox super genius super cool but I definitely am so intrigued and I want to figure it out so her very I'm gonna go and look up her first horse and see if I can find a clue but I'm keeping all the letters obviously I want to be rewarded I would love it for you guys to play along with me if you guys think you know the know the clue the answer I think it's the name of her first horse but I don't know I'm gonna go and watch your channel and see see what it is but anyway yeah that's so super exciting I love it I love Laura Elsie Grace I've always liked her I have never followed along on her channel obviously but I have watched some videos like I've seen her getting new horses I've seen her struggling she has like a lot of confidence issues that she posts about and her Instagram is just a, a mash of inspiration for sure all right we are headed in to my favorite store does it show it no it's called taste of country these are campfire blankets they're so heavy I love me a heavy blanket Oh my goodness, I think I want one. This store has everything you could want. It has meat and vegetables and every can stuff, but it doesn't just have food. It has so many other cool things in it. And then it goes into this big, huge bake section. Pecan pies, mm, oh, lovely. So my favorite thing in this whole entire store, and I can never buy it because I'll eat the whole thing, is this look there's only one cherry bread and they have a uh, christmas bread too it's almost my birthday you guys you think i should splurge and then suddenly it turns into like this store that has everything something for everyone there's signs there's wine sam's having a, a laugh over here you jingle my bell. I wish you a very Merry Christmas. You jingle my bell, Sam. Look at these awesome blankets. It has a hood. And there's dog blankets, pajamas for Christmas. This is all their Christmas stuff. Just all sorts of like gift ideas. It's so cute. Look at how cute these are. Made with love. So good I almost kept it. No peeking, do not open. I, I love this drummer boy. Isn't it so nice? I guess it's not a drummer boy, but what a cool decoration that is. If I didn't have five million dogs, I would get that. And then it just keeps going from room to room. They have candles, they have socks, they have mugs. Like whatever you need, the store's got it. So, I don't know, like, I can't talk very good in a mask and there, when their stores have overlying music, it's hard to video, but whenever I go there, I always buy so much junk. Like I bought that Christmas bread and I'm the only one that's gonna eat it. So, yeah, hopefully it'll last to my birthday. <laughs> and I bought some really cool stuff though. I'll show you when we get home, but I got Gabby something really fun. The thing I hate about that store is that a lot of it's like, I only wanted to get meat, and vegetables there I didn't want to get any junk stuff and I ended up getting like so much junk stuff I love the pig and a puppy it's a year for puppies for us but look at the flying pig I love this stuff this is so cute I love it love this little area Sam has decided that he wants to buy reindeer this year so we're taking a look and seeing what we can find usually I like to go like plain I don't like too many decorations but I like that stuff Santa no deer no reindeer look at how cute this gift bag is isn't it adorable oh I love the trees that's cute so we always buy like for wrapping paper we always buy these big huge these rolls dots on it. and they're reversible this one's got trees and ho ho ho. I like it. Snowman or... Let's go with the candy canes. I don't really like the blue. No, no, I want that one. We need two, don't you think? Why do you need two? 
because we buy a lot of presents. All right, we got it. This, so these are our wrapping papers this year. Might not seem like a big deal, but it's a big deal to me. Right, we are home. Yeah, you know how I never drink coffee or tea? Well, I thought, like, I miss it. So I got hot apple cider. I thought I would try it. It's just hot apple, original hot apple. There's no cider? There's no cider. I'll have to add my own cider. Hot apple. Sophie's original. already found the good. You got me so much hot chocolate. It's for both of you. I'm, I'm making Right, so this is the hot chocolate that I bought for the girls. Super fun. Christmas surprise. So when Gabby has hot chocolate, I can. So yeah, basically you know this is Rocky Road. And this one is s'mores. And this is cookies and cream. Chocolate. I got that one for you. Pink. Pink hot chocolate, Sophie. I think this is just normal hot chocolate. S'mores. I bought a bunch of them because I figured you'd have to put two in each cup for it to be good. Well, Gabby still has the other stuff. Isn't she? Anyways, those are all hot chocolate. Yeah, she has the bit. other stuff, so she has... <laughs> Sophie's like, I call it all! How often have you drinking hot chocolate in your life? Not very often. So you don't buy it. You don't like it. So I also did buy cookies. Oh, they're melting. So we used to buy these cookies all the time. They're already pre-mixed and flattened out. You just pop them in the oven anytime you want cookies. And I you love them. Oh, you like to taste the country? Yeah, it's my favorite store. Sam also bought us a new hot water cooler. Is that the same brand that, of the old one? Oh, it is no, cute. The water goes in the bottom. I didn't go in, so I didn't have any say. It's nice, Sam. I love it. He chooses good water coolers. Yeah, he what does. Do he actually is a good shopper. Sophie and him are both shoppers, better than me. I like to spend money. For anybody who thinks that all I bought was junk, I bought lots of chicken. Lots of chicken. Yeah, so for anybody who's there saying they only buy junk, it's not true. Almost everything that I bought was healthy except for the things that I showed you. I don't show you all the chicken and the, and the vegetables and all that stuff that I buy because are you really going to be excited about that? Is that really going to make your day? No, but seeing the fun stuff is what's going to make your day. I only used one pack, but I used... Wow. It, it was white powder though. It's pink hot chocolate. I'm gonna try it. Wait, I'm trying it first. Just pointing out that this is a huge cup for one package of that. It might taste like water. I have another package. Hot, Sophie. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> is it good? I burnt myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. It actually tastes too much water. Like or? strawberry almost. Yeah, you put more you need more powder. Okay, so before she puts it in, it's white, and then when she puts it in, it turns pink. Can you mix it? Well, that is so state of the art That's cool. A light. There's a light? Oh, yeah. Super state of the art. Good, Wait, goodbye, to... Sam. Was that the cheapest one? No. Usually, Sam goes for whatever's cheap. The cheapest thing is what he buys, and then we sometimes mm -hmm. end up with a lot of bad things happening. Like our last one was the cheapest one in the store, and it broke almost right away. Very impressed. I'm lucky enough to feed lunch today, and uh, poor Penny's still afraid of me. When I feed her lunch, she won't be as afraid as me as normal. She's not too bad with me, she's just a little bit afraid. She doesn't like it when I move too fast and move my hands too fast in front of her. Mom, Penny, lunchtime. Mom, Penny, lunchtime. Oh, Gracie heard. Are you coming? All right, I'll go get lunch. No, come here. Come here, Penny. Come here, Penny. Come on. Come here, Penny. No, she doesn't like me. She likes to come on her own terms, which is not right now. So right now you're just gonna ignore me, right, Penny? Gonna ignore me? That's okay, you stay there, I'll leave. You stay, I'll go, okay? Bye, Penny. Hey, kitty, where you been? Haven't seen you in a while. Seen your sister already, you never came to visit. Hey, you never came to visit. The first present of the Christmas season. The very first present of it's the Christmas wrapped. season that's wrapped. All right, put it under the tree. Don't judge it. 
I had to wrap it. How much you want to bet that one of our dogs, the devil dog, is going to think that this is a toy for them? Who's the devil dog, Sophie? Daisy. Good job, Sophie. Present number one. This is the year of less presents. You guys are bigger now. We don't need as much stuff. I'm only 11. So, I don't know if you guys have been noticing in our videos lately, but this dog is the devil of the dogs. She is also the most loving of the puppies. She's the most loving. I love her little ears. <laughs> and when she's curious or something, she puts them so far forward. Yeah, the other day I slammed her in the door, not on purpose, but I was walking out the door and I always pull the door closed behind me and as she was running out uh, and she wasn't allowed to be running out and I didn't see her running out and it slammed her in the door. Let me tell you, she doesn't go near the door very often anymore until today. She just tried to run out the door again, but she took a while before she tried that again. Okay, so we're getting ready to shoot a Q&A. We've got Gabby here dressed in her pajama-like clothes, so don't judge her if you are, if she's in her home. Changed. She's in her home, she's allowed to wear whatever she wants. She should get changed just to be loungewear. This loungewear, we're getting Christmas going in our house. The coffee table is always a mess. It's still got stuff that needs to be put away on it. Sophie's here making out with the puppy. Oh, we're gonna shoot a juicy Q&A. It is going to be the juiciest of all the Q&As we've ever shot. We hardly ever post Q&As on our channel. It's um, it's a um, assumptions video. It's one of my favorite ones. And we're just gonna be raw and real. So if you guys wanna watch it, it's probably already up on this channel or it's about to be posted on this channel. Tim and I are headed down to do chores. I'm gonna take you guys with us. It's my favorite time of the day. Are you going to do chores, Molly girl? Every night we bring all three dogs with us down to do chores. And Daisy is still learning the ropes, you guys. She's not exactly easy to have in the barn, I swear. If any of our dogs ever got kicked, it's gonna be her. She doesn't, she does not have a healthy fear of the horses yet. Penny, Penny. Look at how beautiful our horses are. Sam lost Daisy. Daisy! Uh-oh. Well, that's not cool. Hi, Grace. Hi, Gracie. I love the name Grace. If I had had a third girl, her middle name would be Grace. Okay, hold on there. Oops. Did you actually lose the puppy? Oh. Jeez, Louise. That's where we don't let her go. Okay, come on. Okay, um, are they coming in? Yeah, sure. All right. Go ahead, Miss Pretty Girl. One, Miss Pretty Girl, two. Oh, and she's coming in, I guess. Well, that's never happened before. <laughs> Aww. You see how bossy she was, though? Yeah. That's a really that kind of went badly. Sam and I always mess up when I film. When there's no camera, everything turns out perfect. I'm going to close this window, maybe. Hi. Ah. Usually she likes shies, and I feel like I didn't spend enough time with her today. Penny, did you know that there are a lot of people out there that think you are not the good, a good match for me? The girls and I just shot... Um, an assumptions video and a lot of you guys think that Penny wasn't the right horse for me and a lot of you guys think that I don't love Penny or that I feel a lot of you guys feel like I don't think that she's the right horse for me I can't tell you guys how just standing here I'm like let's go for a ride but I have to like I have to make sure of some stuff I worry about everything I worry that she I worry about my son I worry about like I just want to make sure she's good I want to make sure you're good Pen. and she is good you guys she's so amazing so what many changes I feel like I share all the stuff that like I wish she was or I wish we had uh, already mastered but I should be sharing all the things that we have done like she's less shy of me she's like well, who are you talking to just be you She's less shy of me. She lets me touch her more. She's 50% uh, more affectionate than ever before. She just has attitude. And I know that attitude can be a mare thing. Oops. Hey, I'm down here. 
attitude can be a mare thing or it can be like it or it can be cause for something so even though she's still new to me i like want to make sure that all her attitude is just hormonal girly stuff it's not you know that she's unhappy physically oh sorry so i'm like step back in i cut the water anyway today was a day full of regular life stuff like shopping and cleaning and we shot another video and just all the catching up on all the things that we needed to do tomorrow we'll be doing more horse stuff we'll be more busy we'll be doing more penny stuff if it's warm i hope to take her for a walk i want to take her for a walk on foot something for her not something for me because let me tell you it would be easy for me to be to love riding this girl do you think it's i should close the windows today yeah it's gonna be cold tonight hi pen Hello, pretty princess. She was like, okay, I've finished my food. What do you have for me? I found treats in my pocket, you lucky girl. Yes, you lucky girl. Yes. When I first got her, if I even went near her to touch her, she would flinch. Like, she never did anything bad, but she would flinch. Whoa. Somebody's been rolling. Rolling. And when we first got her... She was way more head shy. Yes. Anyways, I just wanted to spend time with you, Penny. And, and oops. Oh my goodness. You've been rolling. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> she likes her window. Do you guys remember Stella used to love her window too? You love your window? Either she loves her window. Oh, she's going to stand there and pee right in front of me. She either loves her window or she's recognizing the fact that I closed it. You want your window open? I swear she's like psychic. Honestly, I do though. Like I swear I feel this horse on a totally spiritual level. I just want to get the yuck out of your eye. Crazy girl. I'm going up to the house now. You have to stay here. Tomorrow we'll do something. I have to take Gabby someplace, but then I'll come home and we'll go for a walk. And I won't ride you. We'll just go for a walk. All right? Is that good for you? Tomorrow we'll spend time together. I swear she wants to get out and do something. Okay? Usually she goes right for her hay. She doesn't pay attention to me. I feel bad. Or maybe she just wants the treats that I have in my pocket. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Penny. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, pretty girl. Don't you know that you're beautiful?